The gentleman from Texas is recognized. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Intelligence is our nation's first line of defense. In a world of asymmetrical threats, it is critical that we detect and disrupt the plans and intentions of those who would do us harm. And it is critical that we conduct intelligence operations in a way that conforms to our laws and to our values as a nation. This bill was a product of bipartisan work, and I am pleased that the ranking member, Mr. Hoekstra, worked with me over the past several weeks and months to draft this bill. We do not agree on every provision in this bill, but we agree on the larger points, and we agree that intelligence officers in the field deserve our support. Let me address up front one area where I think there has been some confusion, and that is Section 407 of the bill, which asks for a national intelligence estimate on the national security impact of climate change. We heeded the advice of 11 former three- and four-star admirals and generals who have studied this issue and specifically recommended an NIE. They believe that significant changes in global climate may act as a threat multiplier for instability in some of the most volatile regions of our world. The ranking member has argued that this work should not divert resources from higher priority items. Our committee staff has spoken with senior intelligence community, community leader, leaders in the administration and we have been assured that this will not, I repeat, will not divert resources. The data needed is already available. The administration is already drafting a community assessment on this very issue. And I want to assure the ranking member that we will work with the administration to ensure that nothing will divert resources away from higher priority efforts. But I also want to be clear targeted discussion on this topic is a distraction from the key points of this bill. This bill provides funding for the men and women in the field. Opposition to this bill sends the wrong signal to them. We are at war and we face many threats over the horizon. This bill contains robust funding for critical intelligence programs to penetrate the hard targets such as terrorist networks and countries developing WMD capability. We add funds to both CIA and military elements for human intelligence training. We invest in language training for collectors and analysts and in language translation capabilities. We add funding for sending additional analysts overseas. And we strengthen counterintelligence field operations. We have added funds to broaden our view so that we're, we're spending not just on Iraq, but on some of the other global challenges that we face, such as Iran, Russia, East Africa, Latin America, and other countries in Asia. We have several provisions that enhance critical oversight. We require quarterly intelligence reports to Congress on the nuclear weapons uh, nuclear weapons programs of Iran and North Korea. We also require that the CIA Inspector General conduct an audit of covert activities no less than once every three years. And we require the administration to provide the intelligence committees with a full list of all special access programs. We also require detailed reports to Congress on the use of contractors in the intelligence community because their use has grown without adequate oversight, both by Congress and even by the executive branch. We also require a strategy for implementing a multi-level security clearance system. So it will allow patriotic Americans with much needed foreign language skills to serve as translators or linguists in the intelligence community. And we also promote diversity in the intelligence community by requiring a st strategic plan for implementing the recommendations of a highly regarded diversity panel. I am of the strong view that diversity is a major strategic asset of the United States, 
and we have to leverage that asset to our full advantage. In sum, Madam Chairman, this bill strengthens our U.S. intelligence capabilities. This bill, if passed and signed into law, will help the courageous women and men of our intelligence community accomplish their mission. They are counting on our support, and tonight I hope we respond. I urge all my colleagues to support this critical legislation. With that, Madam Chairwoman, I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Texas reserves the balance of his time. The gentleman from Michigan. Madam Chairwoman, Chairwoman I'd like to yield myself.